Hey, you guys want to see something new? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the show. Today we're going to go over Kenwood's DMX 7704S and what it can do for you. So stay tuned. So when you first power it on, you're going to see this screen. This is your initial setup screen. It's going to give you language. There are several to choose from. Clock adjust, display adjust, camera, demo mode. Let's go down here, turn demo mode off, press finish. First, it's going to give you this message. Now, the cool thing about this radio that the older ones don't do, this always stays on in the older ones, unless you push the agree button. I can actually hit this. After 10 seconds from now on, it will go away. Once power is up, you're going to see this screen. You can change this, north, east, west, south. This would be graphic EQ. Obviously, we don't have any audio going to it, or that's what you would see. And of course, a larger clock. This is down here. This would change to whichever icon you have, whether it be Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, HD Radio, Sirius XM. You can actually move these around. Pop this open. It's going to give you more options. Bluetooth, Spotify, Pandora, iPod. Swipe this way. This information down here is if you're using a Maestro module. Load you get USB, AVN, your audio controls, standby. And this is more stuff if you have the Maestro. So let's say I want to change it. I don't want Sirius XM. I want Bluetooth. Press and hold. Drag and drop. That simple. The icon setup in Kenwood is fantastic. You can really customize it to whatever your needs are. Let's go into settings. Now this is pretty basic looking, but it's still icon based, so it's real easy to use, real easy to figure out. Obviously, these are a lot of the features we were looking at previously at the initial setup screen. Let's go home. Now we're back home. If we want to get into, say we're listening to the radio, it's not really playing any speakers with that. Let's say you're doing this and you want to adjust stuff like audio controls. We're going to press menu. It's going to give you the icons across the top to give you more adjustments. Press audio control. Now these features are going to be pretty much the same features you're going to get in the 9903, the 693, the 893, and the 6903. They're all pretty much going to be the same, which if you see our video based on the EQ settings for these radios, it'll kind of like stuff. Let's go back out. Now along the bottom, you're going to see we have a few buttons. Volume down, volume up, mute or attenuate. Home button, menu button. This is going to get you straight into Android Auto or Apple CarPlay as long as you have your phone hooked up. And then CAM. By pressing CAM, if we had a backup camera hooked up, you would see that. That would be good. So now let's take a look at what's on the back of the radio. Let's go over what's on the back of these guys. We have three RCAs, all video. We have reverse cam, dash cam, which will go over a minute, and video output for like an overhead monitor. Mic input, which will be for Bluetooth. GPS uh, antenna input, which is nicer than some other units. They don't have that, which is going to improve your GPS signal for your navigation. The secondary dash cam port. This is an AB input, so if you need like an auxiliary, that's where that goes. One thing that has changed this year, it actually comes with standard USBs, which they did not do on the other four models I mentioned earlier. They have gray for, for phone, black for USB. This input and this input down here are for your Maestro module. If you're doing an iData Link Maestro module, these are the ports you'd want to use. This input here, that is for a satellite tuner. Under here, we have the standard power port, three 4-bit pre-outs, front rear sub, and of course your antenna input. This guy right here is AV out, so if you're using that guy for video, this guy would be for audio. The DVR520 dash cam will link directly to this radio. You can view what it sees on the screen. It's going to be an awesome upgrade for this radio, which the other four radios that are released at this moment from Kenwood that also have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto cannot do at this time.
Now let's talk about the feature this radio doesn't have. This radio is a mechless radio. Meeting its media only, it does not have a CD or DVD drive. For many people, that doesn't matter anymore. It's hard to find a CD nowadays. DVDs are going away, even Blu-rays are going away. This is kind of the wave of the future, but for the kind of person who has an overhead monitor, may want to be able to feed a signal from their head unit to the overhead monitor, I would take a look at the 9903S. So that was a quick look at Kenwood's new DMX 7704S. If you have any more questions, feel free to contact any of our four locations in Clackamas, Loa, Salem, and of course, S. Gresham, and also like us on Facebook. Every store has their own page. If you're seeing this on YouTube, please subscribe so you can see further content we make. And always, have a great day.